GTA 4 without a doubt is one of the best GTA games to have ever existed. One of the main reasons why many people love the game so much is because of the incredible storyline it has. In addition to that, the game also has two DLCs that happen to show two other perspectives of the main storyline. But the one problem that the game and the two DLCs have are the large number of discontinuities between them. By discontinuities, I'm referring to the fact that GTA 4 is missing the content that the episodes from Liberty City has, yet they happen to follow the same exact storyline. This includes everything such as, but not limited to, the missing addition of cars, the weapons, the character appearances, the different map style and interiors, cool features, and much more altogether from the episodes from Liberty City. So in this video, I will be showcasing a few mods that will remove these discontinuities to make the connection exist realistically between GTA 4 and the episodes from Liberty City. It should be noted that these mods have distinctively long and similar names but serve different purposes and also only work for Patch 7 and Patch 8. Mod number one. GTA 4 The Actual Complete Edition by Claude the Third. A huge discontinuity between GTA 4 and the episodes from Liberty City are the differences in the in-game elements. Well guess what? This mod fixes that discontinuity completely. This mod adds a majority of the in-game elements from the episodes from Liberty City into GTA 4. To be more specific, I'm talking about the elements such as the vehicles, weapons, their sounds, heads and their speeches, animations, exclusive radio stations, and other in-game features involving the use of certain abilities by the player. Let's start with the vehicles, which happen to be a combination of the ones from The Lost and Damned and The Ballad of Gay Tony. All of those vehicles have been merged into GTA 4 with the use of this mod, along with their sounds, handling, and car colors. Here are a few vehicles that can be showcased on display. Here we have the Bullet GT, the F620, the Rhapsody, the Buzzard, and the Skylift. Similar circumstances can be mentioned for the weapons as well. All of the weapons from the episodes from Liberty City are ported to GTA 4 with the use of this mod, including all the animations, the sounds, the rate of fire, the recoil, and magazine capacities for each weapon. Here are all of the weapons from the episodes of Liberty City ported into GTA 4. Here from the Lost and Damned we have the Auto Pistol, Auto Shotgun, Pipe Bomb and the Grenade Launcher. On the Ballad of Gay Tony, we have the Pistol 44. The Gold Uzi, the cool M249 Saw LMG, the cool looking sniper rifle, and sticky bombs with the controllable detonator. Two in-game features from the episodes from Liberty City have also been ported into GTA 4 with this mod, that being the drive-by shotgun feature from The Lost and Damned, and the parachute feature from The Ballad of Kate Tony. Of course there are some other features I could go on about, but I'm sure based on the summary mentioned earlier, you could guess what this mod already does when I say that it adds majority of the in-game elements from the episodes from Liberty City, and the ones I've mentioned to you are primary examples of what I meant.
Overall, it's an amazing mod that's been in development for 3 years, and it's worth getting to fix the major discontinuities between GTA 4 and the episodes on Liberty City. You can see more of this mod on the GTA forum link below in the description, which also leads to the download link for this mod. Mod number 2, The Complete Liberty City, aka the GTA 4 plus EFLC map mix, by Aliasis King. Another huge discontinuity between GTA 4 and the episodes from Liberty City happens to be the differences in the way the maps are set up. Using various examples, let's compare GTA 4 by itself side by side to the two DLCs separately based on their maps features. Here we have the Hercules Nightclub from the Ballad of Gay Tony vs GTA 4, Mason at 9 Nightclub from the Ballad of Gay Tony vs GTA 4, Bahama Mama's Nightclub from the Ballad of Gay Tony vs GTA 4, Bowling Alley Air Hockey from the Ballad of Gay Tony vs GTA 4, The Lost Clubhouse from the Lost and Dan vs GTA 4, and the Angels of Death Clubhouse from the Lost and Damned vs GTA 4. So by this, I think you kind of get the point and you see what I mean. Let's fix that up with the complete Liberty City mod which mixes and merges the maps of GTA 4 and the episodes from Liberty City together. And by installing this mod, here happens to be the end result. Here's the Hercules nightclub in GTA 4. The Mason at 9 nightclub in GTA 4. The Bahama Mama's Nightclub in GTA 4. The Lost Clubhouse in GTA 4. And the Angels of Death Clubhouse in GTA 4. As you can see, all of these locations from the episodes on Liberty City are now accessible in GTA 4 using this mod, including their interiors. Other examples are also posted up on the GTA forum link that's down below in the description, which also leads to the download link for this mod. With that being said, let's go to mod number 3, which is GTA 4 and EFLC Characters Fixes by the Yoshi Punch. The largest discontinuity between GTA 4 and the episodes from Liberty City happens to be the differences in the way the characters appear during their crossovers. What I mean by this is that some of the characters between both of the games don't look the same. Let's conduct some side-by-side -side comparisons to see these differences. Starting with an excellent primary example. Let's take the GTA 4 mission Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend and the Ballad of Gay Tony mission Ladies Half Price for instance, which happen to be the same mission but from two different perspectives. And let's put them both side-by-side. -side. Gracie, you alright? The bastards didn't hurt you, did they? She can't speak, we got a gag in her mouth. Give her back, you animals. She suffered enough. Hand over the stuff. Hand over Gracie. I'm here for you, sweetie. Hand over the fucking stuff. All right, calm down, both of you. Oh, yeah. We put the ice in the middle. We walk back. Then you send over the girl. We leave, and you pick up the stuff. Entiende? Sure. Show us the goods. Come back to me, honey. Let her go. At the start of the diamond exchange, we can see five characters, that being Nico, Packy, Racy, Tony, and Luis. You notice that Nico and Packy look the same on both GTA 4 and the Ballad of Gay Tony, which is to be expected. But the characters that look different here between the two games are Gracie, by a minimal amount, Tony, and Luis. Ideally speaking, Tony and Luis should appear as they should from the Ballad of Gay Tony, but not how they appear in GTA 4. As far as Gracie, she looks the same, but her clothes are different. In GTA 4, she's wearing a long coat 
And in the Ballad of Gay Tony, she's wearing a nice leather jacket with a purple and black striped t-shirt. And this isn't the only specific instance of a discontinuity in the characters, as there are many other instances out there. Here are a couple of other examples as well. Take Ashley from GTA 4 versus Ashley in The Lost and Damned. Hey, sweetheart. Hey. My god, you look like shit. What's wrong? Nothing. I haven't been to bed yet. I've been smoking crystal. You're here. You're here, old man Johnny. What's the matter, sugar? Oh, Johnny. I fucked up. I fucked up real bad. What'd you do? I messed up, baby. Promise you won't be mad. Why? What'd you do? I'm an addict. I need help. What the fuck did you do? Take Johnny from GTA 4 versus Johnny from The Lost and Damned. Selling some dope to let you know you're alive. Let's go. Yeah, let's do this. All right, come on. Hey, what's going on, guys? What's going on? Hey, all right, man. How's it going? Hey, good to see you again. Yeah, likewise. Uh, let's hope this goes a little better than before, yeah? Come on, let's get inside. Gentlemen, gentlemen, pardon the precautions. You know how things are. No problem. Let's do this. Okay. Let's see the stuff, gentlemen. Maury, come over here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Since we're having a little show and tell, let's see some money. But guess what? You already guessed it. There's a mod that completely fixes this large discontinuity in the difference of character appearances, especially during their crossovers. And it's this particular mod, GTA 4 and EFLC, Character Fixes. There's a whole GTA forum website with this download link attached, as well as some screenshots with the various instances where this mod fixed those differences between GTA 4 and the episodes from Liberty City. By installing this mod, this is what GTA 4 now looks like with those aforementioned instances. Here in GTA 4 is Diamonds Art Girl's best friend. Gracie, you alright? The bastards didn't hurt you, did they? She can't speak! We got a gag in her mouth! Give her back, you animals. She suffered enough. Hand over the stuff. Hand over Gracie. I'm here for you, sweetie. Hand over the fucking stuff. All right, calm down, both of you. Oh, yeah. We put the ice in the middle. We walk back. Then you send over the girl. We leave, and you pick up the stuff. Entiende? Sure. Show us the goods. Here's Ashley at Ray Pacino's place before doing the mission, taking out the trash. Hey, sweetheart. Hey. My god, you look like shit. What's wrong? Nothing. I haven't been to bed yet. I've been smoking crystal. What? <coughs> what are you, a fucking idiot? White trash motherfucker, what is wrong with you? Give me a break, okay? I feel like death. Hey, hey, hey! What? Here's Johnny in the two different missions, Blow Your Cover and Museum Peace. Like selling some dope to let you know you're alive. Let's go. Yeah, let's do this. All right, come on. Hey, what's going on, guys? What's going on? Hey, all right, man. How's it going? Hey, good to see you again. Yeah, likewise. Uh, let's hope this goes a little better than before, yeah? Come on, let's get inside. Gentlemen, gentlemen, pardon the precautions. You know how things are. No problem. Let's do this. Okay. Let's see the stuff, gentlemen. Maury, come over here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Since we're having a little show and tell, let's see some money. Of course. No problem. There it is. Beautiful, huh? Overall, let me say that I'm extremely satisfied by having these three mods in the game. I'd like to think it makes the playthrough more immersive knowing that the discontinuities between GTA 4 and the episodes from Liberty City no longer exist with these mods installed. And one thing is for sure, these mods certainly improved the connection between the game and the two DLCs. Let me know what you think of these mods down below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, if you enjoyed the video or if you found it to be super informative and cool, then hit that like button and subscribe. I do a lot of GTA 4 modding videos, so this is just one of the many videos that I do. Feel free to check out my whole playlist of GTA 4 modding videos on the screen. A cool video that's also worth checking out is a brand new graphics mod that's coming out soon called Ice Enhancer 4.0. It's by far one of the best graphics mod yet with a low toll on the performance and is made by a developer who has been a veteran in doing these graphics mods for so long. Another cool video on the screen is my top 10 realistic mods video for GTA 4, which is also worth checking out. Thank you so much for watching, and peace out!